Blade Studio 3.0 is so promising. I can't believe how fast they've developed their product. Okay, so right now I'm looking at its new features. Create Studio version 3.0 can now let users to create custom 3D characters, which by the way was not available in the previous versions. And you can rotate animates in 3D space, meaning the characters can now be positioned forwards, backwards, sidewards, which is 100% so cool. And then you can add your logo, which is going to be so great for your branding, automatic lip syncing. A lot of you guys have commented and asked me about this before. And although the characters in the previous versions were able to move their mouths, they didn't have the lip syncing feature. And aside from that, storyboard and video editing altogether has become so much easier and seamless. So that is why to really check all of these features, we're going to create and produce a new video using Create Studio 3.0 which comes with my honest thoughts and updated review about the product. All right, so let's create a new video. As usual, this is the dashboard. You can see a prompt here that says start with template. And of course, it will make things easier for you, especially if you're looking for something that is very specific, whether you want a template that is fully animation like this, for example, me check. And if you want a preview of those templates, you can just hover your mouse on it. So it will kind of show you how the template will look like. It also has its own built-in script and you have the format, square, landscape, or vertical for us to choose from. What is this lightning builder? It looks new. So let us click on this one. Okay, this allows you to choose your scenes, which means everything is built in. You just really need to customize it depending on your video requirements. And here on the subcategories, you can even start from the opener. So you could check which types of opener will suit your type of video. For example, you've got the zoom in office, if that's the kind of opener that you're looking for. And then you've got some ready-made video content where you could customize it. And then the problem, it's interesting in a way that it gives you a structure to follow, which is going to be helpful for marketers struggling to create video ad that converts. Because after all, most of the video ads now should be strategically created to hook the audience, retain them at the same time, convert them into actual customers. Okay, so before I actually start a new project or before we start using any of these templates, I want to take a look at the new characters. And this is the part that I'm very much excited about. So let me go to the backgrounds first and choose 3D background that will suit the character of our choice. And I see here they've added more backgrounds as well and it's a lot. Okay, so let's say I want to choose this Dubai scene, just click and drag it onto the canvas or onto the editor. And now they've made things easier for us to find what we're looking for. We could just go and click this category and find the different types of characters or scenes. So they have the 3D Supreme, Startup, Bubble Heads, Minimal. Okay, I honestly find it more organized compared to the previous versions. So I wanna click on the 3D. So I'm choosing a character that suits my background. And here we got an Arab character, which definitely would suit my Middle Eastern background. Let's, let's go and download it first, and then drag it onto the canvas. On the left, you could customize whatever action you want a character to do. He could be waving, which is the default one, and you could position him to face backwards or waving backwards, which is so nice. Now, I want to see how we could customize the outfit or the overall appearance of the character and how we could custom rotate those characters. But for that one, we're going to have to go to 3D Creator right over here and actually find the available characters that we would be able to fully customize. So as we could see here, we have four. We have Lenka character, Danny, Bella, and I'm pretty sure they will be adding some more characters in the future. Okay, so now we're going to create a video ad to go through all of the new features as much as I can. And I actually have my script here, which obviously I made out of ChatGPT. And the script shows me a description of a busting office space. Of course, I'm not going to follow the script entirely, but this is good enough as our script guide. Going back to Create Studio, since I'll be creating a video ad for Coven Ads, it's been a long time since I created a video ad specifically for my platform, so it has to be aligned to my branding. 
and let me try and go with a girl this time because I've seen a lot of creators who did a video review using Create Studio and they used Tom already. So this time around, we're going to go and try the girl version named Lenka. And after downloading, let's click her and drop onto our canvas. Okay, so you could see her frame here. And once you click the customize bar, it will automatically show all the elements that you could use to customize your characters. So let's go check out the top and see whether I could change her top that would be suitable to my brands or my color palette. I think the crop top, or no, I think the hoodie will suit me better since I want to look cool and quite bubbly. And of course, I want to change the color. So I have to go down and click this color icon and we could change even her skin, her hair, eyes, lips. And then for the top, of course, again, I would pick something that is quite green. Okay, perfect. Now it looks closer to my color palette. For the hair, I feel that I want to change her hair a bit. Maybe something, uh, I don't know, yellow, white. Or let's just keep it brown as it is. This is actually fine. You know what? I'm just going to add a background for her so it wouldn't look so plain. And so we could visibly show um, the character fully. Okay, this is good. And back on my script, it says it's in an office filled with creative energy. So maybe let's go and find something creative. All right, now we see her better. Okay, let's go back to the bottom part. This one is definitely close to my brand. This is so exciting. You know how like we weren't able to do this in the previous versions, but now it makes you feel like you could play with it. You could enjoy choosing your own colors, dress, and you could even customize it as if it's your own avatar. Okay, then we could also try to put her some glasses. Of course, it's optional, but this one is really nice. And this one looks more formal. Okay, but I like this 3D glasses. Let's go ahead with this one. And then let's go to accessories. So you could add some more AirPods, earrings. But I don't think it's important or it's going to be too visible. So I won't add much. Just maybe this headphone since it's bigger than the other accessories. All right, now on to the logo. I just actually found out that to be able to use the logo feature, you have to either get the PC laptop element or if you wanted to put on top of your character's outfit, you have to choose this particular shirt which has a logo in it. So let's give it a try instead of the hoodie and just change the top color to green. Okay, and if you want to recheck how your character would look like from behind or check her hair, you could actually click on rotate and then move it along like this. Oh, it's super cool. I'm totally in love with this. And of course, if you want to move things around on your screen, you could choose or click this hand button and then just move your canvas. Or if you want to zoom it manually, it's going to be like that or just press on fit center. Okay, so now that we've seen all of the custom features that we can do on our characters, which again, I'm totally so in love with right now, let's go to the most asked questions, which is automatic lip syncing. So let's click on music. And they have a library, as usual, of music, sound effects, and speech and record. If you want to record yourself, this is where you would go. But if you want to use their built-in voices, you could either use their AI voices or Google voices. In this case, since I don't have any credits, I'm going to use the Google voices. So I'm just going to take one line from our script guide and paste it onto Create Studio's speech generator. And then click preview. Struggling to make your mark in the digital world? Okay, so I thought she's going to speak once I click the preview, but it seems we have to import it and sync it to the character's actions. So we're going to drag it over here and choose a talking action. And then you have to click your text-to-speech frame and then right-click on it. So you could see the sync with Lenka. And so she could talk along with the audio we made from the text-to-speech mark in the digital world feeling lost in a sea of social media noise that is so nice let me try to play it one more time are you struggling to make your mark in the digital world feeling lost in a sea of social media noise oh that is the coolest thing i've ever seen today
All right, now what I'm going to do next is to actually create a full video out of Create Studio and all of its new features. And I'm going to fast forward my editing. So I'll see you guys back into the preview. your mark in the digital world? Feeling lost in a sea of social media noise? Don't worry, we've got the solution. Our team specializes in video marketing, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok management. So what are you waiting for? Contact us today and let's turn your social media presence into a sensation. And that was the preview. For my key takeaways of Create Studio 3.0 in terms of its ease of use, I definitely 100% more confident now that it's so much easier and faster compared to the very first versions that had a lot of buffering and a bit of delays in the response time. This time around, it's definitely faster. The dragging of the timelines, the elements, it's definitely become more user-friendly with faster response time. I also find that it has become much more organized in terms of categorizing the characters, the scenes, and everything in the studio, which I'm definitely more impressed with. I think the developers are listening to their audiences or to their customers because what we were asking or what we just used to recommend before has become a reality now. In the same way, every time I feel that I get lost with how I want to move planes, for example, the positioning of the character and the rotation, you could actually go to their support button and you could search whatever it is that you're looking for, like how to rotate the characters, how to customize the characters. For me personally, it helped me when I tried it firsthand for the first time. And again, I am so in love with the character development, additional set of characters, additional scenes, backgrounds, and most especially the customization area of Create Studio. They also made some changes in the pricing. I got mine for a $67 standard license, which is still available. You can also check it out on my link. But now you also have a different options, which is just $27 per month. And you could access the unlimited video exports, commercial use license, then 50 characters. And if you want more access to more characters, more elements, they have the platinum version, which is $37 a month and so on. So it's really not bad because before, again, it was, it was only $67 standard. And again, there were a lot of limitations compared to us now that you could just subscribe to a plan whenever you need a platform and then pause it for a while when you don't have an existing project. And I'm going to link all these pricing details down below. And in case you still want the same license that I have, you can check out my link below and choose which plan or subscription is most suitable for you and for your business. Okay, in terms of its effectiveness, do I still think it's going to be effective for companies or for brands to use? Well, definitely 100%. I do think it is by far the most effective video animation platform I've ever seen and reviewed so far. 
you know, the way Create Studio has developed and keeps developing the product. And I totally think it's worth an investment, time and effort to learn. And there's not even much to learn about it because all tutorials are uploaded on the internet, their website and on YouTube. Especially if you are into running a creative ad that requires animation, because again, you could find a lot of animation styles in here. You have the doodle animation, the 2D, the 3D, even in different forms that you could use on different formats as well, whether on landscape, square, vertical. You know, if you're also planning to run an ad on Instagram or TikTok, this would be so great. So yeah, it's definitely still a five star for me. So let me know your thoughts as well in the comment section. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out an update.